Hi Homeworthy, I'm Angela and welcome to my home in Texas. Come on in, I'm excited to show you around. You're watching Homeworthy, where we believe every home has a story. Be sure to visit our website, homeworthy.com, to discover amazing furniture, art, accessories, and more, all handpicked by our editors to help transform your house into a home. All of the items are inspired by the episodes you see here on Homeworthy. Enjoy! My name is Angela Geyer, and we are currently in my home in Houston, Texas. So we've lived in this home for around four and a half years. And funny story, um, I did not see the house before we moved in. It was completely up to my husband to house hunt and find this home. Um, we were actually living in Mississippi at the time. He started working in Houston. I had just had a baby and was not ready to house hunt. So I entrusted him to find us a home just close to his work. And that's how we ended up here. And I joke that the next house is all my decision. So welcome to our entry, well, faux entry. Our home lacks a formal entry. Um, so I decided to create one myself by filling it with the things that I think represent our family and our style the most, which is a lot of chintz. Um, my favorite Lidofa chintz, Althea, um, which I had made in a table skirt, um, and some Brunswick Ify, fun little fringe, because everything is more fun with fringe. Um, just mixing old and new is one of my favorite things to do. So adding coffee table books with some antique rose medallions and this new piece from Alexis Walters, which I still have to get framed, but she's one of my favorite artists. And these are my favorite colors. So just love that it represents us. And it's the first thing you see when, or first thing guests see when they walk into our home. So welcome to our formal living room. This is a space that I have enjoyed decorating the most because as much as I hate to admit it, it is a place that is kind of a kid-free zone. Like they're allowed in here, but please don't bring the goldfish and please don't bring the trucks. Um, but I've combined all of my favorite things into one space, like a little chintz, a little chinoiserie, a little drama, um, a little animal print, which is you know, a little bit more fun than what I would do in more of a family-friendly zone. So as I said, we lack a formal entry, but this is also one of the first things that guests see when they walk in. So I found this beautiful mirror in an antique store here in Houston, um, beautiful blue and white, which I am obsessed with, and my favorite color lamp. And then I've combined all of my favorite things in this one place. I found this um, Henredon coffee table on Cherish, which I love shopping. You just find so many beautiful antiques there. And actually the first thing I purchased for this home was this beautiful Gracie panel wallpaper panel that I had mounted and framed. And what I love about mounting and framing a wallpaper panel is that you can bring it with you wherever you go next. And that was my thought in mind because I love the idea of, you know, beautiful chinoiserie hand painted wallpaper, but we knew you we weren't going to be here forever. So I just love the idea of taking that with us wherever we go. Um, another one of my favorite, favorite things to do is mixing patterns. And I've combined, again, one of my favorite chintzes, Lidofa Althea, with some beautiful other patterns. And what makes it so unique is that you can find a fabric you love and that you've seen everywhere, but then combined with different prints and patterns mixed together, it's just so fresh and so unique. And that's one of my favorite things to do with patterns. Um, I absolutely love this Coromandel screen. I was faced with the tough decision of what to do with this blank and boring wall behind um, this sofa. And I found this at an antique store and fell in love with it and knew I needed to have it for our home. And it adds such a dramatic feel in here and I truly, truly love that. Another one of my favorite pieces that I found is this gorgeous chinoiserie planter. Um, I was actually forbidden from buying a real plant um, ever again, 
but I purchased this because we're having company over and I just love it. I mean, I can't keep them alive, but it's just so beautiful. You need something live and real in your home at all times, in my opinion. Um, something that is truly speaks to me, but is more so my mother, and I guess that I got it from her, is this tiger print. This was an old bench that I found and we had reupholstered and it's just fun and dramatic. And I, I just love the pattern play in here. It's just so great. Um, another one of my favorite things to do is to buy lamps and then have them zhuzhed up with some fun pleated lampshades. And this um, pleat was actually the fabric in our primary bedroom that we reused to have made for this fun little lampshade. And this has just become a really cozy space for us. And one of the newest additions to this space, which is one of my favorite pieces of all time, is this commode, but she's a commode with a secret. She turns into a secretary's desk. Um, so I just thought that was so fun. And this is where I store all of my placemats and all of my tablecloths that I love to use for our dining room tables. So I just thought that was really fun. So next we'll move into the dining room. This home was built in the late 80s and 90s. Um, so it has a lot of those details and lacks a lot of the character and charm that I love from the 20s and you know the beautiful arches and the moldings. So because we know we're not staying here for a long period of time, instead of redoing the whole house, we've just tried to fill it with things that bring us a lot of joy and beautiful furniture and wallpaper and things that were less permanent. And we've truly loved the way it's turned out so far. So welcome to our dining room. I love this space because we've truly transformed it with this beautiful wallpaper. Um, most of the things in here, to be honest, are either antique or vintage vines. This table was an antique and these chairs were actually antique vines that we had painted and reupholstered in a beautiful cravat fabric. Um, the wallpaper is truly unique and special and truly makes our home so special and unique because this color was actually customized based on a paint sample that I sent to Waterhouse Wall Hangings. I fell in love with this beautiful fabric on our chairs, wanted it to match because I'm sort of a matchmalist, and they were able to customize this based on the fabric, and I love it so much, and definitely want to recreate this wherever we go next. But I have to say that my favorite, favorite, favorite piece in the whole entire house, and this room of course, is this antique set that my mother, my father gave my mother for an anniversary. And I had loved it so much in my mother's home and I kept repeating it every time I'd go home. And eventually she was like, Angela, you can have it. So I remember at Christmas dinner one year, she said that and I ran upstairs, got my suitcase, went downstairs with my suitcase, packed it up so fast in case she changed her mind. And I mean, that was kind of a faux pas at Christmas dinner, but I just, I loved it so much. And I truly believe she gave it to me because she was sick of polishing it, but her loss is my gain. And it is truly a reminder of my mom and, and my dad and the antiques that she loves and the character and charm that they bring to their home that I want in my own home. Um, and it reminds me of her. So I just love that. Um, also a beautiful antique find, same with the mirror. And this is a new visual comfort chandelier. Um, and I have to say, setting tables is one of my favorite, favorite things to do. I truly love it. Just, you know, whether it's for Sunday brunch, Sunday dinner, or just hosting people at home. And I do love creating floral, floral arrangements. Um, but the floral shop here in Houston, the floral studio here in Houston, created these beautiful florals for me um, because we're actually hosting a dinner for a friend's birthday tonight and they did such an amazing job. But I love this room. If I could describe my dream dining room, this would be it. It is a truly a blue and white chinoiserie dream and I think I fit in quite well here. This is China I actually found at an antique store somewhere in Texas. I don't remember where I was. I love it so much. I paired it with our monogrammed napkins that I use quite often and just some beautiful, beautiful um, placemats that I love to collect. I am obsessed with all things tableware, placemats and tablescapes and um, tablecloths that just bring me so much joy to set a table that's so unique because you can really speak to your personality when you set a table and, and then you, you entertain other people here and it just shows your personality. So I just love that. 
I've decorated my house in, I'd like to say, a more traditional style. I love mixing new pieces with antiques and reupholstering old pieces to give them new life. I love color, so I definitely think it's more traditional than any other style, but with a twist. I do love to incorporate some new pieces with old pieces to, you know, show my personality a little. I do fancy myself a little chintz, actually a lot of chintz. I'm so grateful that I have a husband that fully embraces it, but chintz is one of my favorite. I am a sucker for a good floral. I love pattern mixing. I love mixing colors together to create something that's different and fun. Let's move into the family room. So this is our family room and this is where we spend majority of our time because even though we have a playroom, my children insist on being close to me at all times. But when designing this room, I knew I needed to be family friendly, so I chose a lot of performance fabrics. So everything from the sofa to the carpet to the chair was chosen with family in mind. So this is a fun chair. It was an old chair that I found that I had reupholstered in a Kravit performance fabric, but of course, Everything is better with fringe, so I had the Samuel and Sons fringe made, and it says, you know, I'm kind of a fun mom. Um, these chairs I love, and these colors usually are not what I would gravitate toward, but I found this fabric, Meredith Ellis used this fabric in a Kipps Bay show house in Dallas a few years ago, and I absolutely fell in love with it. It's a Lisa Fine fabric, and I knew I needed to have it, so I had these old benches reupholstered and some coordinating pillows made with it. Um, not to say that this is the most family friendly coffee table, but I love it and my kids are old enough to not you know, bump their heads and all of that stuff. Um, I know I've said that this house was built in the 80s or 90s, so it has some quirks to it that we weren't re very keen on you know, redoing because we're not staying here for long. And one of those quirks is the fact that this cabinet here used to store the TV because they were just smaller, you know, back in the 80s and 90s. And not knowing what to do with it and not wanting to replace, I made it my little secret bar, um, which I think is fun. It's my little tequila bar because I do love myself some tequila. Um, so just a little spot and of course everyone needs a bar in their family room. I mean, who doesn't? Um, but yes, I just love this space and how it's turned out. Another one of my favorite little things is to, you know, add some fun lampshades to just regular lamps. And yes, filling my bookshelves with things that are old and new. I love bookshelf styling. I think it's always so fun to see how people style their bookshelves. It really speaks to their personality. Um, I love myself some chinoiserie and rose medallions and coffee table books. I'd say my tips for bookshelf styling is to always mix new and old. Always use coffee table books, but mix them vertically, horizontally. Then fill it in with things that you love the most. And for me, that's a lot of blue and white and chinoiserie and plates and decorative things. Um, family, family pictures, things that speak to you, especially when you're in a family room and you want it to you know, reflect your style and reflect your personality and yourself as a family. Things like family pictures or things that you've collected along when you travel, things that are important to you, there's always a spot for them on your bookshelves. So when you're designing a space for your family, you also have to consider the fact that not only your family will be here, but multiple people will be here and at once. And if you don't want to sit next to each other all the time, then having multiple different sections of seating is one of my favorite things to do. I don't particularly love sectional sofas, so creating little sections of seating um, was the ideal choice for us. We started with a sofa that fit the space well. We have two additional seating um, pieces right here, and then a comfy space that if someone wants to read, they can come here too, along with benches for additional seating if anyone needed it or just to put their foot up. But there's plenty of seating options for everyone here for what they're doing and all the things that we do in here, which is crafts and all the fun stuff when you have children. One of my favorite things to do is to light candles um, when I'm home. I just love filling my house with scents that just bring me a lot of happiness. And my favorite for this time of year is Thyme's Simmered Cider. And it is so good. It smells like fall, but it's also so good all year round. So I have two young children, ages four and six. And while I was decorating this home, of course, I had to consider their ages in mind. So. A lot of the things that we've chosen for our home are 
family friendly, performance fabrics, things like that, or darker colors that will hide the stains, and performance friendly um, sofas and rugs and things like that. Um, but I do have to say that I was grateful that this home did come with a formal living room because as much as I love my children, this is the one room we are not allowed to roll Tonka trucks up and down and color and paint. And so I do have my little space despite everything else being very family friendly. I have made this space uniquely mine by truly taking my time and finding things that I love. I made the mistake in my old home of just buying things to buy it to get it furnished. And I ended up with a home I did not like and things I didn't like. So I learned my lesson the hard way. And with this house, I've truly taken my time to find things that I truly love, want to be in this house or my next house forever by finding classic pieces and reupholstering them in fabric that I love and that bring me joy that I can see myself loving 20 years down the road. So here we are in our kitchen, our little breakfast nook. And one of my favorite things about this home is how it opens up, the kitchen opens up to our family space because it truly allows that semi-open concept that I love while still having everything a little bit separate, which I love in the more traditional sense. Uh, this is where we have all of our meals as a family with our children. Um, one of my favorite things to do is on Sundays, we set a fun little brunch table. So. This is just a little representation. I love a beautiful um, tablecloth with beautiful florals, and these are from the floral studio. And we haven't renovated our kitchen because we knew we were gonna stay here for a long time. So I've just kind of filled everything with blue and white plates in hopes that it disguises things. But the funny story about this plate wall is that I actually created this to hide one quirky feature of our home, which is a light switch. Um, right there and that's how it all started and I've just kind of built it and built it and it keeps on going and I just love that but the chairs were upholstered in a performance fabric and we just love spending our time in here it's just so bright and just so cozy I am sadly the chef in our household I'm not very good <laughs> nor do I enjoy cooking um, and our kitchen makes it difficult to cook in to be honest um, but I'd like to think that one day I will perfect my cooking skills. Today is not that day, but maybe in a few years. So when I went to college and was forced to decide on a major, I truly had no idea what I wanted to do. I had always loved interior design. And in fact, one of my favorite parts about college was decorating my dorm room. Um, but I settled on a communications degree. And then after college, I still didn't know what I wanted to do. And in a true Elwood's moment, I said, why not law school? Or my parents actually said, why not law school? So I went to law school, graduated with law at um, a school in Chicago and passed the bar in Mississippi. And I decided to stay home with my son at the time, not knowing anyone there. And so once we moved to Houston and COVID happened, I started decorating my own home and found it so much fun and knew that my passion was interior design. And that's kind of how I ended up where I am. So this is our little bar area. It's off the kitchen and off the dining room, but conveniently located by the laundry room because we all need a drink when we're doing laundry. Um, one of my favorite things to collect is colored glassware, just making it fun for guests, but it's also fun to display all of these cool colors in here. Um, these are actually a combination of antiques or just old pieces and new pieces. I love these so much. These were found in Round Top. Um, these were found at an estate sale, I believe. And the rest are just new. I have mixed some of my fun cabbage wear, which I love to collect, and just some beautiful things. I also have an addiction with um, cocktail napkins. Um, this is my drawer, which I'm slowly organizing, but it has all of my cocktail napkins that I've collected and had uh, monogrammed, and there will be some more soon. Um, but yes, right next to our bar is our laundry room. In my mind, I spent like 99% of my time in here. Um, it is a small space, so to make it a little bit more bearable, we had it wallpapered in this gorgeous Schumacher blue and white chinoiserie wallpaper, and it makes doing laundry a little bit more bearable.
The cabinets were actually painted when we moved in. Um, it just so happened that the wallpaper I loved matched it perfectly. So we didn't have to do much in that respect. What I love most about this home is that we have created a home that just works for our family and that just speaks to us and shows our personality and just represents us as a whole. I think a home comes alive when people fill it with things that truly represent themselves and their personality and the things that bring them the most joy. And that's different for everyone. And that's what makes homes so unique. And that's what makes it tell a story. So next, let's head into our primary bedroom. But first, here's this little hallway that leads to our primary bedroom that I wanted to dress up because you see it from the rest of our living spaces. So we had another beautiful Gracie panel that I had mounted and framed, and I love it so much because of course we can take it with us wherever we go. Welcome to our primary bedroom. I think it's safe to say that one of my favorite color combinations is blue and white. So I knew I needed that in our primary bedroom. It's just such a soothing and classic and timeless color combination, even though my first choice was a colorful floral that my husband vetoed pretty quickly. Um, but I fell in love with the Schumacher Versailles fabric and knew I needed to use it everywhere in this bedroom. So we had this old headboard painted and reupholstered with some coordinating pillows. And of course, every woman needs a skirted vanity. So I had a skirted vanity made in this same fabric as well. Um, this bench right here is one of my favorite finds. It was found at an estate sale here that I also had reupholstered in another gorgeous Schumacher blue and white print because we are fully embracing the blue and white in this room. Um, and same with this chair. I am a huge fan of finding old pieces and reupholstering them, but this chair is the exception. I found it here at an antique store here in Houston and absolutely fell in love with the bows and the floral bouquets. I mean, if there was a print that spoke to me more than this, I, I don't think there was one. It is just stunning. Um, and this is my little oasis away from the children, away from the husbands. It is my skirted vanity in the matching Versailles fabric that I love so much. It's with my beautiful little bow antique mirror that I found recently at an antique store here in Houston. And same with this Schumacher Versailles pleated lampshade just to top it all off with the blue and white in here. I have many favorite chintzes and they're all very floral. My favorite chintz is Lee Jofa Althea. You'll see it throughout the house in many different rooms. I also love um, Lee Jofa floral bouquet. I was dying to use it in my master bedroom, my primary bedroom, but my husband vetoed that pretty quickly. It's Maria Boada's favorite chintz too. It's very pink, very floral, very girly. Um, I truly love it. I will find a spot for it somewhere in this home, but I love myself some florals. They're just so fun. They're just so great. And you can mix them with anything and that's what makes it so unique and fun. So now let's head upstairs to the rest of the bedrooms. Welcome to our catch-all space, which I have slowly decided to make it into our playroom. Because as much as I love my children bothering me downstairs all the time, I think it's time that they have their own space. So this is a new work in progress um, that we have slowly made into the playroom. Um, just some fun features in here, like these fun sister parish pillows with the Schumacher trim and these casual linen drapes. These benches I found at an estate sale and had them reupholstered in another fun um, Sister Parish fabric with some Samuel and Sons fringe and just love the little scallop details and the cute little pendants. But my favorite, favorite thing in here is the treadmill that I asked for three years ago for my birthday and that's still not plugged in. Makes a really cute addition to this playroom, don't you think? Um, but yes, these built-ins were here when we moved in. So we fully embraced the red, white, and blue theme. I love the theme and I love that color palette for a gender neutral playroom or a gender neutral nursery. And we just, you know, add some fun little finishing touches in here, like the baseballs that we've caught at games and just family pictures and things like that. So it's a work in progress in here, but I'm loving the way it's turning out. And hopefully my kids will migrate up here when they want to play. So I'm very grateful to have a husband that is completely on board with my style. He trusts me completely, and mostly because he knows that he doesn't have a sense of style. No, I'm just kidding, um, but he does trust me, and I love that about him. Um, also, my other model is to do it and then ask for forgiveness later. You know, it's already been done. Um, 
but no, he truly loves it and, and he's loved the way this, this home has turned out. So I'm, I'm forever grateful for that. So right off the playroom, we have our son's room. And I love this space because when we moved into this home, he was still in a crib and it was a nursery. So we had free creative liberty in what we wanted to do for his big, room, big boy room. And of course he wanted a monster truck room, but we settled on his favorite colors, which was blue and green, which happened to be two of my favorite colors as well. So we just love how it's so cozy and it really truly brings him a lot of joy to be in here, which makes me happy. Um, we did this beautiful sister parish fabric, which is just so fun and playful with pillows and the bench cushion here. And of course, every lampshade needs something fun. So we did these beautiful green and white for Moy lampshades there. And one of my favorite things about his room is this fun antique table that turns into a game table. I thought that was really cool. Eventually, maybe he'll do some homework in here, who knows? Um, but these were also found at antique stores here in Houston. Same with those. So love mixing old and new. And I mean, I wouldn't be smart if I put a super expensive lamp in here. So this is a very inexpensive lamp base with a beautiful lampshade with Brunswick Effies fabric. Um, I just love that so much. And I don't love a themey room, but sailboats have a super special meaning to me. I grew up on the water in my family's home and I just love that for a little boy. I just love that theme. So we have a lot of sailboats in here for him. And of course we have to pay tribute to his design style, which is lots of stickers on the wall. So gotta love it. So because my husband picked out this home, I gave him a five year deadline. That was, we were gonna stay in this house for five years and then find something that we could both agree upon in a neighborhood we liked because we wanted to explore Houston more. You know, we moved here not knowing anything about Houston. Um, so we're looking now, it's just been incredibly difficult. And I, my husband isn't too keen on the idea of a fixer upper, but the more we look at homes, the more that I think that's the path we need to choose because I have a very particular taste and very particular style. So I just wanna do something that I pick out and represents my style, and that probably is a fixer-upper. Welcome to my daughter's room, and she is four, but acts like 16, so we needed a space that kind of fit her personality, but it was a little bit more sophisticated. And um, one of my favorite pieces in her room that was actually from her nursery was this canopy that we had made in a vintage chintz, of course, um, made from Brunswick Feast, and I love it so much. And when deciding what to do with her big girl bed, we knew we needed to find something that coordinated well with this pattern because I will keep it forever. And we settled on this beautiful Schumacher print and I love it. And of course, some beautiful ruffles because she's a girl and she loves her fancy frills and all of that fun stuff. Um, but to make this room a little bit more funky like she is, we added this stray dog designs chandelier here. Um, and of course, this, just like I do, she has a skirted vanity and this stunning, beautiful vintage bow fabric, which I love so much. Um, we have transformed this little nursery into a place that's still a work in progress, but she loves being in here, loves all of her books and the pink and green, which are her favorite colors. And we love the way it's turned out so far. So for her bookshelves, like most of our bookshelves, we mix a little bit of old and new. This was her sweet first birthday hat with her monogram and little bow. And these two are cute little antique pieces. Same with the little silver that was from my childhood. And we just mixed it with a bunch of fun new books that are her favorite with some little ruffled scalloped and beautiful little wicker baskets. Another one of my favorite pieces in this house, because I love cabbage wear and antiques and vintage finds, is this adorable little cabbage wear tea set that I found for her room. And she just has so much fun playing with it. It's really, really sweet. And I just love it. Pink and green, of course. I think who inspires me the most is Mario Buada, who of course is the Prince of Chins, and my mother, who I have learned so much from and who I have tried to emulate my home based on the home that we grew up in. It was very traditional, very much so the style that I have now. She filled our home with antiques and was always out of state sales and antique stores. Um, and just every piece had a story. I 
the, the room that I grew up in was a pink and green toile. And then I moved into my sister's room, which was a blue and yellow toile. Um, she, she used a lot of florals and a lot of traditional elements that I love to incorporate in my own home. This is our guest room. And what I love about it is we were able to create this room from scratch because believe it or not, this room was once purple. And so when I wanted to de design the space, I wanted somewhere that our guests could feel comfortable and cozy and just uh, the vibe we wanted was like a French countryside hotel or an English countryside hotel. So I knew I wanted like a floral chance, but not something overdone. So I found this Pierre Frey Grues fabric and knew I needed to use it. And it's not colors I would typically gravitate towards. So I, I was expanding out of my blues and greens and pinks. Uh, but I love it so much. We had the headboard reupholstered with some matching pillows with some fun fringe and this Schumacher check, which we also had a beautiful skirted table because every room needs a skirted table. Um, designing these bookshelves, which were here, was the ultimate challenge because how do you fill a space this big? But I was able to do it with a lot of estate sale finds, um, old books and some also new blue and white pieces. But my favorite part is that I was actually able to get good use out of my law school books because I was able to use them in my bookshelf styling. So my parents are very proud of me. Um, another one of my favorite pieces in here, which is a new addition, is this beautiful secretary's desk. And I love, love, love the bow dealing on that as well. And funny story about this armoire is that someone in my neighborhood was giving it away for free. And I just cannot believe it because it came, they posted it like two days after I found this gorgeous bow secretary's desk at an estate sale or an antique store. And it has another beautiful bow detailing and I just love it so much. Um, so it truly makes the room feel so cozy and has that vintage vibe that I was looking for so much in this room. The word home is somewhere that you feel safe, that you feel comfortable in, and the place that truly represents your own style and your own personality. Thanks for watching. Go to homeworthy.com for exclusive content and shopping guides.